So I personally think the Honda Ridgeline is the best service truck out there. I've driven many trucks at a Nissan Frontier, an 05 Frontier, for about 15 years. I've also driven F-150 and other trucks out there. And I test drove a lot of trucks before I settled on the Ridgeline. This is a 2019 Ridgeline RTLT. This one has a sunroof and the rear sliding window. I wasn't a huge fan of the silver color, but I got it way below Blue Book value, so I'm happy with the purchase. And I bought the truck used with about 35,000 miles on it, and I recommend buying a used service truck. And I want to preface this video with the fact that this is not actually a review of the Ridgeline, but a review of the Ridgeline for pool service. You can find reviews of the Ridgeline on YouTube. So it's going to be relatively short and just geared towards using the Ridgeline for pool service. And the size of the truck is really important to me. I'm 5'7", so I wanted something more compact like my Nissan Frontier. It has almost the same dimensions as my Frontier. It's 17.5 feet long. The Nissan was 7.1. And the width is a little bit wider. This is 6.5, and the Nissan was 5.1. But the height is where I think this excels. It's only 5 feet 9 inches tall to the top of the truck. What I really like about this truck is actually the side of the bed height. You can easily reach over and put stuff in the truck or reach stuff in your truck because it's only 52 inches in height. Another cool feature is that the tailgate opens up in two directions. It swings open. You can also open it in a traditional manner by folding it down. The bed of the truck is also 6 feet long where the Nissan was 5 feet which gives me more cargo space. There's plenty of room back here to put all of your chemicals and supplies. So the bed is actually really large. I really like it. It's really an upgrade for me coming from a five foot bed. I really like the fact that it has this really nice trunk. It's kind of one of the hidden features of the Ridgeline. And this trunk is 7.3 cubic feet. And to give you an idea of what that is, you can actually fit 52 gallons of water in this trunk. So it's a really big trunk. So it's great for putting your spare parts or anything else you want to put in here. And you can lock this trunk in the glove box. There's a way to lock the trunk so no one can access it. So it's a great feature to have in this truck. One thing that I don't like about this truck is the fuel capacity. Now it gets about 20 miles per gallon, but it only has a 19.5 tank. Where my Frontier had a 21.1 tank. And it is a big difference. I really wish they would have put maybe a 22 or 23 gallon tank in here. Because I'm fueling up just about as much as I was with the Nissan. Because it gets only 2 more miles per gallon than a Nissan Frontier. And the tank is a little bit smaller. So that's one thing they probably could have worked on to give it a little bit of a bigger gas tank. And I'll touch on one more drawback that I feel you need to know about. And that is that even though the rear seats do fold up, giving you a really large cargo space in the back. The rear doors don't flare open as far as the front doors. In fact, they don't open up as far as my Nissan Frontier did. So you can't get really large boxes back here. You can't put a full grid set or maybe four cartridges in a box back here because the doors don't open fully. That's kind of a drawback, so it's something to be aware of. And I think for those two drawbacks that I mentioned, the fuel tank being kind of small in my opinion, and the back doors not flaring open far enough, other than that, this truck has so many positives that it really outweighs these two what I think are flaws for pool service. It's got a remote start on the key here for this particular model, the RTLT, and the higher model also has that. The key is pretty simple. It's, you know, you have your alarm right here. There's actually no key. It's a push button start. And by the way, I just wanted to give a plug to my son's keychains. These are his 3D printed keychains here, and you can order them on his Etsy site. And it has, again, a push-button start. It's got your standard dashboard. There's nothing really spectacular about it. You have your mileage, and you have your average fuel. Then you have the tire pressure, and then you have the maintenance schedule. So it's, you know, pretty standard for a truck that's, you know, 2019 version. It has a built-in navigation. It also has a really nice backup camera. I really like these backup cameras on the newer vehicles. And it's really convenient when you're trying to park, especially with the carts on the back. What I really like is how smooth this truck drives. The acceleration probably isn't as good as a lot of trucks that I test drove, but it has really good acceleration in my opinion for what you're getting. You're getting basically an SUV with a truck bed. This is a unibody truck. It's basically a Honda Pilot where they had the back end cut off and they put a bed on it. So you're going to get the acceleration of an SUV of that type versus a truck like a Ford Ranger or a Chevy Colorado. However, it's not any kind of wimp and it's not a slouch as far as acceleration. You just have to push on the gas pedal to get it to kind of go where you want it to go. I really like this camera here in the passenger side mirror. So when you're turning right, 
or getting into the right lane this activates and you can see everything in there so you're not going to hit anything so it's a really nice feature and I'm getting really used to looking at that camera when I'm changing lanes there's no camera when you change to the to the left on the driver's side they expect you to look at your blind spot there so Honda is the number one rated car manufacturer as far as reliability and with my Nissan Frontier I had to change a lot of parts I had to get it towed a lot it was breaking down a lot granted I got it to 220,000 miles but it was a real bear because of all the maintenance issues that it had. But I think the Ridgeline is going to hold up a lot better because Honda is ranked number one. And this truck is actually ranked number one in this class. So I think it has a lot going for it over the Nissan that I used to have. This is an extremely roomy and comfortable truck. And I mentioned how smooth it drives. You're not going to find a truck that drives smoother than this one. Maybe the F-150 is as close as you're going to get to a smooth ride. But this is definitely smoother than that truck. And I think the interior space and all the things in the interior really gear itself to comfort. So since you spend a lot of time in your truck as a pool service professional, why not have a comfortable vehicle? Pool Service Pro, open a Leslie's Wholesale account today and receive wholesale pricing on products you use every day. Leslie's Pool Supply offers convenient locations that are open 7 days a week. Another great benefit of opening a Leslie's Wholesale account is Leslie's Referral Program. Get referred to a customer looking for weekly pool service. Save time and money and grow your pool service route and become a Leslie's Pro.